Morning guys, today is Monday, 2nd of November and it's my second shift at my new job. Wish me luck. Um, my first shift I did, I really, really wanted to film you because when I'm uncertain of what I'm doing and uh, looking for things and uh, just makes more of a fun video, doesn't it? Rather than, oh, I'm settled, this is all boring now, this is old news. But I got so flustered looking for my unit and looking for my trailer and getting trying to do everything right which I think I did in the end, I did I delivered to Hungerford uh, it went well I just thought I didn't want to dwindle too much to film so today I'm gonna try and do my best and show you all that I can keep tuned so far so good, I have found my unit and it's a little upgrade from um, the one that gave me last week. Uh, it's a bit nicer, the gears are on the stock. It's a Mercedes, they only have Mercedes around here. Uh, last one they gave me was 65 plate. This is 65 plate as well. Uh, but I had gears just below the armrest and you had to click a button in, push it a little bit forwards and that's how you would select the gear. And, uh, it was crazy because it took me a while to work it out. So at least this one, something like this, I've been driving for a long, long time, so I know what I'm doing. And I'm going to, bu, bu, bu. where am I going? I'm going to Buckingham, yeah, Buckingham. One drop so far, I might go back and get another drop, but we'll see. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, I found my trailer, I found my unit and I'm off to Buckingham. It will take about 50 minutes drive and I've got an hour, so I've got 10 minutes to spare for just in case. See you then. Don't know if you can see much, I'm just about to come off to my drop-off, come up to my drop-off somewhere. Uh, I don't think I'm lost, it's just dark and I'll find it. Thank God it's not here that I'm delivering to. I just went to have a look and it's further on. There's more room to turn around. Happy days. Here's the place. I need to swing it around. I'll show you as I'm swinging it, but there is a lorry inside there just parking up. So I'm going to stick it on the brake and wait for him to come out. So two hours later, I'm done here. I've delivered lots and lots of cages. I have almost lost my hood because I got hot and I took my coat off, but I found it. Uh, one tray went over because I think I went a little bit too fast with it over the lip. Then I got my suspension down. I got my lead, yes I have. Um, and picked up loads of uh, rubbish cages because we have to recycle everything. They're really, really good at recycling here. And uh, now I'm going to need to take a break as well uh, because it's coming up to my six hours working directive. Um, I will take 15 minutes on the way back at some point and then I'm off to the depot. And then whether they're going to send me off again to do something else somewhere else or not. So now back to the depot. Um, I'm going to take a 15 minutes break on the way back. In fact, I'm in the lay-by now uh, because when I was waiting to get unloaded, waiting for the bay, I only waited about seven minutes and because it was a timed delivery, I didn't feel like I could sit there and just wait for another seven or whatever minutes, eight. I needed to press on, I needed to deliver, I needed to sort it all out and now I can chill for 15. And then uh, when I get back, we shall see if they're going to send me uh, anywhere else or not. I'll keep you posted, keep tuned, keep watching, see you in a bit. So yes, for now it takes me two hours, maybe when I get a little bit uh, faster, a little bit better, a little bit more experience, it will take me less. Nonetheless, it's a good workout. My rings on my clock, my watch, um, closed up. It said I've done quite a lot of exercise, I've also walked to work. I'm also going to walk back home, it takes me 20 minutes each way. Uh, so this job will keep me fit, will keep me healthy and keep me working. Break time is over. I am almost back at the depot. First, we're gonna go to the recycling place, RSU 
I think they call it. Uh, recycling something unit. I don't actually know. Uh, so we're gonna take all of those cages that I filled with rubbish out in there. And then I think they're gonna load me with empty ones, empty and folded ones. You, um, you shove it all into the trailer. And then you put you you um, uh, park the trailer somewhere in the yard with those cages in, and then when it goes on the bay and people are loading the trailer with food and things like that, they take the empty ones out, fill them up again, and reuse them, reuse everything. They're very good here. Even the car wash, uh, not the car wash, the truck wash, uh, uses recycled water all the time. So we wash our trucks twice a day before we go out, after we get in. Uh, yeah, no problems there either because it's all recycled. Happy days. Okay, that is done. We've recycled a lot of stuff today after delivering. Makes me feel very good. Like I'm a very good citizen. Uh, chocolate of recycling on top of delivery. Love it. Uh, so now we're gonna go back to the yard. We're gonna fill up We're gonna put Adlu in for the next driver. We're gonna go through the wash Because even if they do send me out again, I'm not gonna get the same trailer because this trailer is full with empty cages now uh, But some of the drivers there they are getting uh, Recyclables out. They're saying this time of day. I don't think they will be sending me out again So I think I'll be going home to sleep Okay, not to sleep yet, but definitely to chill. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how I wash my truck from inside, obviously, because I can't be going out, getting wet out there. That's no fun. See there. Here we go. Not much space, not much space. I've got a tiny little bit left. Whilst I'm on a break here, As always, I would like to say some thank yous. Thank you very much, Yusman Akmal. Um, you have uh, you have uh, donated uh, to me on the 21st of October. Sorry it took me so long to thank you. I've been busy hunting for jobs, looking for jobs, going to interviews, doing all sorts of things. So now I'm settled. Thank you very much, muchly appreciated. I'm still gonna be saving towards my own lorry. I uh, don't know how it will take me, how long it will take me now with the second lockdown starting Thursday. Um, but it should be okay to be fair because unfortunately people are starting to panic buy again. Therefore we're busier than usual, they say. Um, so they're giving us lots and lots of shifts to lots and lots of depots. There's one in Reading that's struggling for drivers. So yeah, possibilities are endless. But don't panic by. We can always deliver to you um, contactless. Um, is that the word? On a distance. We leave it by the door. We go away. You get it. Everybody's safe. You don't need to panic by. No need. <laughs> uh, massive shout out to Dennis and Katrina as well. Keep watching, guys. Thank you. It's nice to have uh, such a fan base. Thank you for all your comments. I read them. I try to reply to all of them um, when I can, when I get a minute. So yes, keep posting, keep uh, commenting, keep liking, keep watching, keep subscribing. Thanks a lot.
don't think it's working and I've got no space to park the trailer but I'm just trying and edging it in a full full yard hopefully a shunter will come along and tell me to just put it on the bay or something but I've not seen the shunter yet so it might be okay here we shall see god is this scary I'm gonna have a look in the minute Sorted, parked, and I think finished. Um, I'm gonna get all my stuff together and then go to the office and see if they want me to go anywhere else. But I'm pretty sure that'll be the end of it because a few drivers said, don't think you'll be going out again. So, <clears throat> how do you like my new job? I quite like it. It's not bad at all. It's nice and easy. Good exercise with those cages, up and down, up and down, left and right, left and right. Uh, figuring out where to park them, where to store them as well. It's quite interesting. Uh, so yes, let's hope I'll be able to film some more for you. For now, why don't you subscribe, hit the bell, uh, follow me wherever I am. Uh, I'm hoping I'm gonna stay here now. <clears throat> I quite like it. <laughs> so, not a bad job after all. Uh, Yes, follow me on Instagram, linda.trucker, and I will see you next time I can film. Catch you later. Yep, as predicted, home time. Um, he sort of says, oh, do what you want in there around you. I said, well, it's up to you if you've got anything. He says, no, I don't have anything at the moment. He says, go home, maybe next time. And I'm not pushing it because it's only my second shift here. But I will, I will get braver. And I will be demanding a second second run into somewhere because I'm not even tired yet I've only done eight hours work part timing part timing subscribe right then guys whilst we are here on the bay chilling relaxing putting our feet up I am anyway I don't know about you um let me tell you a little bit more about my youtube uh, you've probably noticed that uh, you are seeing more adverts as you're watching my videos. Um, that's because YouTube sent me an email saying that I'm getting more and more popular. Thanks guys. Um, say they wouldn't mind putting some YouTube adverts on there to target you, my audience. <clears throat> and if I get any money from it, well, so be it. I'm not going to say no. But also they sent me an email saying that I can add to my YouTube a donate button, which I thought, oh, that's a good idea. Because for the last year, I've been working flat out, um, saving up for my own lorry. And I think I'm about halfway there. Uh, so maybe next, next January, not this January, January 2022. We'll probably be in the position to to try and buy one, whether we'll buy one on finance or not, I don't quite know yet. There's a lot to be worked out, but luckily we have time. So if you would like to contribute towards my dream, you're more than welcome. <laughs> I think you'll get an option if you do donate. Uh, you will get no, you don't have to donate a pound you can donate 50p <clears throat> I've, I've not tried it out yet I should really get my mom to donate me like 2p or something just uh, just to see how it works and if it works uh, so yeah as you as you donate if you choose to um, I think you get an option to write down your name there maybe like a little message to me and uh, yeah, do that. I will give you a shout out and I will say thank you and I'll be amazing. And uh, yeah, hopefully one day you will see me driving in my own lorry. Wish me luck. And to do that, you um, need to click on my description of the video. And in the description, there is a link that I've put there. Uh, so that should work. Um, there is also an actual button. If um, I, I've checked it, if I'm on a laptop, you can see it next to my name on the right somewhere uh, but if I'm on my iPad I don't think I can see it on there but if you click on the link it always pops up in the description in the link down below it's there cheers guys